Hey, what's going on you guys? Mark here, back at you with another video. And for this week's video, I want to talk about how freaking weird English is sometimes. English is my first language, I've spoken it all my life, but there's definitely some words I look at and I'm just like, huh. So, let's dive right in. <laughs> the first weird English word I want to talk about, manhole. Do, do I really have to give an explanation for this one? The second weird English word I want to talk about is pineapple. Oh. Uh -huh. You guys might be wondering, why do you think the word pineapple is weird? You know why I think it's weird? Because English is literally the only language in the world where it's called that. In pretty much every other language, it's called anana. Like, why did we have to be different? Like, who came along and looked at it and was like, you know what, that doesn't look like an anana. That looks like a pineapple. Like, who? And plus, it just doesn't even make sense. Like, it doesn't grow on a pine tree and it doesn't even look the slightest bit like an apple, so... I just don't get this one. The third weird English word I want to talk about is kernel. You know why this word is weird? Because it's spelled like this. Yeah, that's not pronounced colonel, that's pronounced kernel. Why you ask? I have no idea. It doesn't even have one R in it. This word actually kind of low-key angers me, like you can't put an O, an L, and an O together and claim it makes an er sound. Like, it, it doesn't work that way. Like, our organ in our body, the colon, is that actually pronounced the kern? No, it isn't. So why should the word spelled colonel be pronounced kernel? Like, why is this a thing? I cannot imagine how annoying this word must be to someone who's learning to speak English when it's already annoying to someone like me who already does speak English. Just, ugh, stupid English. The next weird word is squirrel. Look at this beautiful squirrel! Imagine trying to pronounce this if you're learning English as a second language. Just imagine. Squirrel. 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 <laughs> Even I have a hard time pronouncing that sometimes. The next weird word is jackpot. As in a lottery jackpot. Like how did that word even come to be? Did a guy named Jack win the lottery once and they just decided to name the highest sum of money you can possibly win after him? If that's the case, good job Jack. Another word I imagine is difficult to learn and pronounce if you're learning to speak English is scissors. That's a lot of scissors noises in just one word. <laughs> also the word yolk, that's just the weirdest word to name the yellow part of an egg. Like, egg white makes sense, but then the yellow part of the egg, they're like, let's call that the yolk. Why not just call it the egg yellow? Like, why didn't they decide to continue the color descriptors? Egg white and egg yellow, that would have made so much sense. And if you really look at it, it's just a weird looking and sounding word, like yolk. Like, just, what is that? And last but not least, the final weird English word I want to talk about in this video is cockpit. Actually, nah, I don't want to talk about that. I'll just leave it at that and end the video here. Cockpit and manhole. Remember guys, these are not dirty words. These are actual words in the English language to describe something not sexual. But anyways, that's it for this week's video. You guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment below letting me know if what weird words you guys find in the English language, whether you've spoken English all your life or learned it as a second language. I would like to know in the comments below. As always, you guys can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. All the links for that are down below and at the end of this video. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already for two reasons. The first reason, because I post new videos every single Friday and you don't want to miss it, so hit that subscribe button right down below and I'll be doing a, a giveaway once I get to 1,000 subscribers and you guys don't want to miss that, so hit that subscribe button. And the second reason, I don't know if you guys have heard lately, but YouTube is making changes to the partner program, which is getting me already mad just saying those words out of my mouth because I feel really strongly about this but basically if you guys haven't heard it the long and the short of it is YouTube is not going to allow people with less than a thousand subscribers to monetize their videos anymore and they're gonna kick them out of the partner program. Wah wah wah. And unfortunately me having less than a thousand subscribers that extends to me so if I don't hit a thousand subscribers by February 20th which is my birthday I will not be allowed to monetize my videos anymore and I will not be allowed to put end cards at the end of my videos and just a lot of things that is just not a good move on YouTube's part, but it is what it is. So if you guys have been watching me for a while and you've been debating on subscribing or not, I'd really appreciate it if you guys would because I don't want to get kicked out of the partner program. I have a month and a little bit to get to 1,000. I think it's slightly possible and it's on my birthday, so you guys could give me the birthday gift of 1,000 subscribers, which is awesome. That's what I've been wanting for so long. And also the birthday gift of not being kicked out of the partner program, so yeah. 
There's that. <laughs> that's a lot of words, I'm sorry, but yeah, that's that. And before I go, I want to give a big shout out to a YouTuber named David Snyder. I will leave a link to his channel in the description below. Basically, his channel is about giving shout outs and just shining a spotlight on small channels that could really use a bit of a shout out. And he made a video about me last week. So I urge you guys to go check that out and subscribe to him and tell him how awesome he is because that is awesome that that's what he's making videos about. He doesn't have to do that, but he is, and that is just so awesome. So thank you so much, David. And just be sure to subscribe to him because he will be giving shout outs and attention to other small channels like me that could really use your guys' subscriptions and attention, especially in light of YouTube's new changes that they've announced yesterday with the partner program. Small YouTubers could really use your help, guys. So I urge you guys to go subscribe to him and just subscribe to the channels he talks about and just watch their videos. That'd be really awesome. Anyways, this is probably the longest outro in the history of YouTube. So I am just going to end this video here. I'll see you guys next Friday for another brand new video. Bye. Thank you.